Today's video is sponsored by Squarespace. Alright guys, how's it going? Welcome back. Well today I'm just up in the office, I've just had a Zoom meeting with some sponsors, and I've got quite a busy day planned. I thought I'd do a day in the lifestyle video. I've got to go and get a car from the Valators, I've got to take a Jaguar XKR, which you won't have seen yet. Uh, no, actually, you might have seen it on my Instagram. I bought a very nice British Racing Green one owner Jaguar XKR. I've got to pick up that from the mechanics and take it to Prestige Wheels to have its wheels refurbished. I've also got to check in on a property that I uh, am purchasing. There's a lot to do. So today I thought I'd take you along with me. Shall we hit the road? Let's go. Um, are we gathering all this up then? We're we going right now. I was just saying, are we going to grab all this and go? Yeah, yeah, you can grab it. Come on then. I'm a I know, you've told me a million times. Come on, let's go. Come and join us, please. Oh, 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 oh. Let's get Bob in. Come on then. One of my colleagues has just dropped off this Skoda Yeti four-wheel drive, actually, that we took in part exchange. And it's down here having a little bit of paint. Let me show you what it needs. The lads from Dents are going to sort out the dent on this door, which is quite quite pronounced and also typical VW product it started to rust just around the bottom of the doors and the wheel arches so that's going to get blown in and then it'll be ready for sale that's very good news of that because it's diesel and four-wheel drive and I do like the Yeti right anyway let's get in the car right go on then mechanics please first stop which one Wendy's I need to pick up the XK XKR actually to be precise I feel like I've hit my bus. Yeah, I think the bus would fare worse, don't you? I got my attire wrong today because it's 30... Why is it so warm in here? It's like a furnace. Hang on, you you look at the road. I'll, I'll do this, thank you. You're very blue. I feel blue. Don't be blue, Peter. Why are we listening to Western music? Steak. I feel like I'm in Texas. Country. Do you Luke like Holmes. country? It's great. Who? Luke Combs. He said that like I should know who it is. What do you think of my jumper? It's very blue. It wasn't the colour really. My problem with it is the collar. I quite like a quarter zip, but it's a bit, a bit dracula -ish. vibes. Yeah. Could be worse, could be wearing double denim. That's true. That'll be you next after listening to country western music, aren't it? In your F-150. One of those um, plastic caps on the two bills and a straw. I've got a spare one if you want it. I, I used to have one of those. You've just offended everyone in America now. <laughs> That's all you know of American culture. Fucking like yak. Do you think it's your diet? Because you eat a lot of rubbish, don't you? I have, mate. What have you had to eat today? Some mango chunks. What did you have for breakfast, though? The mango chunks? No, just after. Oh. This is the trouble beef. with you. Beef. It'll beef. be a pepperoni beef. or something. No, no, beef. Um, beef jerky. Beef, Country beef, western. Beef, black bean sauce with egg fried rice. It's 20 past 11. Why have you eaten that already? I was starving. I've had one thing to eat in three days. I feel like the Subarus have become popular again because I've seen about 12 in the past two days. Subaru what? That's a... No. I hate them with a passion. I hate them. There's one in... Um, I don't like people who get passionate black, about them. The black one with gold dollars. Yeah. Like, yeah, they're hideous, aren't they? And then, and then followed by that about two minutes later was a blue one with a gold. I thought... Mm -hmm. Looks bad. When, when is them where? Prestige. When is for the XKR. Prestige to get the wheels done. Yeah. Uh, then Tameside Valator to pick up a... Uh, one of my favourite cars of all time. Then I need to swing by a property that's still nearly. Then I need to swing by. I wish. Then I need to swing by a property that's nearly done. Are you going to pull out or not? Look, do you kind of let this van go? Do you reckon? Oh. I hate my phone. Put it on silent. Here we're filming. Just rings. It causes me nothing but grief. Do you like the new sport or not? Yeah, I prefer it. They've grown on me actually. I didn't like. You like it because it appeared in the new Bond film though, probably. Was it? I, um, Is that true? Or no. I don't think. Uh, not that one. Uh, it did, didn't I, it? Yeah. Was it the old shape? Old shape. Was it? No, I, I, I hated him when the first came out. I got drunk in the cinema and had about twelve bathroom breaks and then fell asleep. It was a long film, that. Yeah, well, it was long. I uh, yeah, I hated him when it first came out, but the you'd have one, would you? Yeah, and I'd have the sport over the Vogue as well. I think you've got no taste. It'll match your uh, Ocean Club sunglasses, won't it? Oh, Beach is called that, actually. Ibiza rocks. They are really the tasteless, the most tasteless sunglasses I've ever seen in my life. 
no offence. I don't know a single person that would rather have a Sport over a Vogue, to be honest. But I'd rather have a 15 Reg Sport. Right. Over than what? Your older Vogue that you had that black one on a on a 16. Right. Okay. I don't have anything that's working. Them. Yeah, that's yeah, that's true. Don't pick one of those then. <laughs> Before we continue with the video, I just need to say a big thank you to today's video sponsor, Squarespace. Whether you're a used car dealer like me or pursuing any other passion, Squarespace is your go-to platform for building a professional website. With Squarespace, you can create a stunning website that reflects the quality of your brand and your vehicles. From sleek design templates to powerful e-commerce features, Squarespace makes it easy to build and customise your website exactly the way you want. Plus, with built-in SEO features, you can ensure that your dealership gets found by potential customers online. And here's the best part, as a viewer of this channel, you can save yourself 10% off your first website or domain name by using the promo code HYPECORTOS at checkout, or alternatively, click the link below in the video description. We're currently building a new website for the online store. I just want to make it look more professional and, uh, I guess, cooler. And crucially, I want it to be easy to use both on a desktop and on your smartphone. Once you've chosen your template, you can edit and change what your website looks like just by dragging and dropping photos and your own logos and fonts and colours and that sort of thing. It really is as easy as that. It's looking great so far. We've only spent about an hour and a half on it, but it's taking shape. All I need to do next is figure out how to connect my AutoTrader system to it. So don't miss out on this exclusive opportunity to take your business to the next level. So thanks Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Have they fixed the X5 yet? No. I don't think they've touched it yet, actually. It's a short week, isn't it, this week? And I've just oh, keep bringing them work and then running off. I don't really like coming here because I can see all my broken project cars. There's my Land Cruiser. There's my X5. Our X5. Well, our X5. There's my S-Class. You won't have seen that yet, will you? I bought a very cheap S-Class, W221. Which, in hindsight, was a mistake. There's my Sportage on the ramp. That's your KNS as well, isn't it? Yes, it's solo now. Is it? Yep. So that. That's my Civic, that's my Jag XJ, oh that's my Fiat. I should have filmed that. We towed that down there this morning because I've got this Fiat 500X in red, which you've seen on several garage tour videos. I've had it for ages and it won't sell and it's quite a nice car. Anyway, somebody came to look at it over the weekend and it wouldn't start, which was quite embarrassing. I don't know what's wrong with it. It wasn't a flat battery, so we had to drag it down here this morning. So, <laughs> joys of the motor trade. Right, let me go and get the keys for the XKR and then you can follow me to Prestige. Prestige Worldwide. Wheel Prestige wide. Wheel Wide. Wheel they should have called it that. Should have called it, wouldn't it? It's the Catalina Wine Mixer. Right, right come on. Right, well, I may as well give you a tour of my little death row thing going on down here. That's my XKR, which has now passed an MOT with no advisory items. That's my X, which I bought last Easter. And what are we coming up to this weekend? Easter again. That's my, it's not a Spark, is it? An Avio. That's my Land Cruiser. I don't know what to do with that Land Cruiser. I bought it, you did a, you'll have seen a video that I did. I bought it from London, from the original owner, but it needs a couple of grand spending on it and I don't know what to do. Uh, for now, I'm just gonna try and not think about it. Here's my S-Class. I bought it for 1,600, 1800 quid, something like that. It was quite cheap and it's got the AMG wheels on it. It's a little bit scabby in places, but I just thought it was an awful lot of car. Anyway, there's an issue with the ABS sensor or something, so it's been here a few weeks. That's mine. I think that's sold yesterday. It's an automatic Kia Sportage. What else? Oh, that's my Beetha. That's sold over the weekend. That had an issue. We had to buy it back. Then it went to Seat for a £1,200 job. That's another story. This is the 500X that we towed down here this morning that I've had for about nine months now, 10 months nearly. And it's quite a nice car. I don't know why it hasn't sold. Anyway, that L322 there, by the way, the 2005, isn't mine. I bet you're surprised at that, aren't you? That's mine. That isn't mine. Anyway, should we fire up the old um, supercharged V8 and get on the way? Right, well, this is my beautiful 2001 Jaguar XKR. It's only done 51,000 miles. I bought it off the original owner, who's had it for 23 years. It's just a really nice thing. I was considering keeping it, but I'm not going to. Can't really afford to right now, to be honest. I've stretched myself a little bit. So it's had its MOT done. That's typical of my brother, that. He's supposed to be, I'm supposed to be following him in my camera car, and then he's just nipped out. Idiot. Go on then, you imbecile. 
I've had the MOT done, so it's now got a clean MOT with no advisor items. It needed a new windscreen because there was a small crack in it. So now it's going to have its wheels refurbished, the Prestige wheels. Then it needs a proper valet, and we're good. And I think this is probably worth, I don't really know, the fact that it's one owner and low mileage makes it quite rare. Oh, there is one more job actually. I booked it in at Elite, Elite Cars I think they're called, over in Didsbury. Now I've mentioned them before on this channel, but they're a Jaguar Land Rover specialist. So I've booked this in for an engine and gearbox service, but because they're always busy, the soonest they could do it was the 22nd, I think. So I've booked it in for then, but at least I can advertise it and just explain that it will have a fresh service. So that's about it. This car in its day though, must've been something. It's 400 horsepower, I think. The reason I was really thinking about keeping this was because, well, the color combination's perfect, the ownership's perfect, the mileage is perfect, the service history is excellent. I've got a fold on the back seat there with wads of receipts. And I just know, I've done this job for long enough, I know that finding a car like this, well, it's sort of like a needle in a haystack, really. Cars like this in this condition with this pedigree, a few and far between. Anyway, I've got to get that out of my head. I'm not keeping it, I'm not. Anyway, guys, I shall see you at Prestige Wheels. As soon as I've got rid of this chewing gum because it's gone stale. Oh, PT. Well, we're here at Prestige Wheels. I always like coming here because they've always got a load of interesting cars. Let's try and not write anything off with this old XK. Let me go in and pay then. Not sure whether this has got sensors or not. Doof. Right, I dropped off the car and I've just had a quick tour. It's always interesting to go and see the process. They do a really thorough job there. Tom was telling me that they can take up to 100 wheels a day. There's a machine there for diamond cutting and yeah, they do do a really thorough job. The Jag will be ready in about two days time. So on to the next place. It's a bit of a magical mystery tour this, isn't it? Right, next stop then is to go and check on a rental property that I am in the middle of buying. It's a long story, this. It's from a, I'm purchasing it from a family member, so there's no great rush with it. I was trying to get a mortgage on it, but the mortgage lender wouldn't lend me the money on it because the kitchen was in, a, in an extension with a flat roof and they wouldn't lend it against that for some reason. So I've decided to just go ahead and refurb it at my own expense already. And I've spent, I don't know, thousands on it. it I've completely gutted it or bringing, had it gutted. Bringing the kitchen inside. Bringing the kitchen inside the back um, dining, well, I'll, I'll show you when we get there. So I've moved the kitchen. The yeah, taking the fireplace out, moved the kitchen back inside the main building, basically. So then now, when, once it's all done, I should be able to get a mortgage on it. So it's a little bit risky, but it is from a family member, so I know I'm all right. So I thought, I've had the decorators in there today, so I thought I just need to go and check what they've done and see if they're still there. And I might as well bring you guys along. I know it looked a bit of a state, but that Jag, once I've got it back from the Valises, will look mint, I think. It's tidy, actually. So I need to finish my video with it. it drives really well. I like that. I like the shape. Yeah, it's cool, isn't it? Future classic. It is It is genuinely a future classic, yeah. Are you just selling that one now, or? The Jag? Yeah. Yeah. I was going to keep it, but I can't really afford to right now, and I, there's no point. I'll never use it. So this is quite a long list, but I've had new windows, new doors, new everything, basically. My goal with these rental properties, oh, you're just walking in front of the camera. <laughs> my goal with these rental properties always is to just make my life as stress-free as possible once they're done. And so far it's worked. So just go to town with them and then you shouldn't have any issues. Well, I rarely do, to be honest. So come on in, I'll give you a quick tour. So we've kept the chimney breast in here. Now it's quite an old house. This. I think it dates back to the early 20th century. There's a chimney breast there and in the other room as well. So we've taken that out of the other room, but kept it in here as a bit of a feature. We built some cupboards either side of it, so that looks nice. We replaced all the radiators with these nice modern ones, replaced all the internal doors. And then this was the issue. So the kitchen was here in this sort of outhouse thing, but they wouldn't lend me money against this house because the kitchen was here and it's only single skin with a, with a flat roof or whatever. So I've had to move the kitchen in here just to be able to get a, a mortgage on it. It makes more sense, but it was a lot more work and a lot more expense. So we've dropped the chimney out of here because this chimney came to sort of here. It just took over and dominated the whole room. That's now gone and we've got a decent, well, a really good quality kitchen actually. Excuse that. Yeah, we've replaced the doors. We've done a really neat job with all the, um, all the plumbing. So I'm really pleased with it. We've tiled the floors. You might think I'm wasting money with all these rental properties, but 
I think everybody deserves to live in a nice place, don't they? So I always try and go to town with, with them. So we tile the floors down here. In there, it's gonna get carpet and then the same upstairs. In the backyard area there, it's all a bit of a mess. So I'm gonna get it concrete printed, which will look nice and then give it a lick of paint and it's pretty much done. This actually, shall I show you this? I think it's quite a cool feature this. You might disagree with me of course, but we've still got the um, original toilet. Don't see that very often, do you? One of the requirements for the mortgage was that that outhouse area there isn't classified as like the main house. So we've had to have a proper, even though there's a proper door there, PVC door, we've had to have a solid door here as if that's, you know, the end of the property. All the other interior doors are just hollow. Should we go upstairs? A very steep staircase, this. Hey, up, you're right. How are you doing? Oh, you're right. I know. Yeah, no worries. So we've ripped out the bathroom and completely changed the layout of it. It used to be, the bath used to be there with an overhead shower and it was, it was very dated. So the whole thing's been yucked out and tipped and then tiled from top to bottom. And it looks really nice. I've gone with exactly the same tiles and paint scheme and stuff as the flat and, and as the other properties. So it just makes it easier when we've got, um, we've got a cracked tile or we need to touch up some paint, everything's all uniform. Now it's only a two bed property this, but the front room is a very good size. This one is a decent single room really. The gas central heating boiler was here, which I never liked having a, in a bedroom, especially one that's gonna be a kid's bedroom or something. I know it's safe now, but still I don't like to, don't like to see it. So we've rerouted that, put that in the room downstairs that used to be the kitchen. And now we've got a nice walk-in closet. That's about it really. It's only a couple of weeks away from being finished this. Once we've got the flooring down, everything's been painted, everything's been cleaned properly, it can go on the market. The plaster is coming in this weekend to plaster the hall stairs and landing. I really wish I'd shown you this before because it was a right state. But anyway, we're there now, another one done. Right, we're heading now then to the Valators, Tameside Valators to be precise. I've got a Nissan Duke to pick up, a Nissan Qashqai and a Vauxhall Corsa. What, are you bringing all of them back? They all need whichever one's whichever you two could take one back. I'm not driving a cash car. Whichever one's ready first, I'll have to take that one, I suppose. They will all be ready at some point today. Then I need to get them back to work, photograph them, do an advert for each well, each of them. Then work out what prep they need. Right, well this is the Corsa then. So it's a 2017 Corsa VXR. Belt on, low fuel. What else is wrong with it? It's only done 14,000 miles, and I just thought it was quite an interesting little thing. Possibly a review car, actually. They're telling me my bonnet's open, so it's either not been closed properly after its detail, or we've got a faulty latch or catch. It's quite cool, this, actually. I imagine the ride will be atrocious, though. Are you ready for this? Going through all the potholes of Hyde. Yeah, I think I'm gonna to have to do a review with this answer. But the plan at first is to get it back to work, photograph it, advertise it, and then figure out what else it needs. I've got loads of new stock on the way though, which always worries me because it's always a it's always an issue juggling the funds. I always stretch myself, which I'm kind of sick of doing to be honest. I've reached a point now in my life where I'm not that interested anymore. Not in my job, I mean, just in trying to get as much money as possible. I'm done with chasing money now. I'd rather be in a position where I can take some time off and enjoy myself. Even if it's a few days a week or something, I'd rather do that. And I'm pretty much, without wishing to brag, I'm pretty much at that point, or I will be in the next two or three months anyway. So that's my plan. Because it's really not healthy to be stressed all the time, is it? That's how I spent the last eight years since I set up High Peak Autos, stressing, stressing and stressing, using every last penny I've got to try and make more money with it. It's worked, don't get me wrong, it has worked and I would do it all over again, I'd have to, but it isn't how I want to live the rest of my life. I hate going through this little... I was right, the ride is very firm, you ready? Very firm. Cool thing though. Cool car, man. 
hope this isn't a very boring video for you, but this is how I spend most of my life, really. Just picking up cars from one place, taking them to another place, then swapping that for something else, then taking it somewhere else. It's just the motor trade, really. I could, I should probably employ somebody to do all this. All this running around for me. Oh, we've got, just spotted, we've got heated seats and a heated wheel. Might keep this. Yeah, I should employ somebody to do all this running around for me, really, so that I can crack on with more videos and all that sort of stuff, but most of the time I do quite enjoy it. Anyway, right, I shall see you back at the garage. See you there. Right, I'm just going to photograph this then, and then I can do my advert for it. This is always a bit of a nightmare because it's quite a busy little junction, this. You can also tell how long I've had a car in stock as to whether there are leaves in those trees or not. Sometimes it's quite a depressing job, but sometimes I've got to re-photograph something that I've had for a while. Oh, I didn't see that. That needs a bit of paint, doesn't it, down there? That's not a big job, is it? And the wheels want refurbing. Still, I think I'll get it advertised anyway. And then take it from there. That's that job done then. I've got two more cars that I need to photograph. One being, are you ready for this? Nissan Duke, look at that. Metallic red. They do always sell well, so who am I to judge? You shouldn't judge a book by the cover, should you? That's a 1.6 petrol, which is all right, really. It's train driven, they're okay. And then also this, it's a late 2018 Nissan Qashqai with 94,000 miles on the clock. I might, somebody asked me for this the other day, I might do a review with that. It's kind of what everybody wants these days, isn't it? As much as I'm not a massive fan, a decent review of it might actually get some views. So I might do that. The next thing I need to do, I sold a a brown, in fact it was called Espresso Brown, Vauxhall Mocha a few, uh, well, a few days ago. That's now ready. It was having a fresh MOT at my mechanics. So that's done. I need to go and collect it, put some fuel in it, because I hate to hand over a car with the fuel light on, and then go and wash it. And that's going out later. Um, that's about it. This isn't the busiest day really, is it? Probably a bad example. I actually thought I had a lot more on today than I do. Sometimes that's the way it goes, I guess. One thing I need to do, actually, I'm going to call the lads from Transformotion because the Belinga was supposed to be ready today. It's had a cam belt, full service, and a clutch because apparently the clutch was a bit high. I haven't seen that car yet. I'm quite excited. So hopefully I'll go and collect that this afternoon. And I'll do another video with that. My first impressions, my uh, reaction to it, which I'm quite looking forward to. So I think that's about it, guys. Thank you for joining me today. I've appreciated your company. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.